So in this video, I'm going to take some scrap glass and I'm going to cut me up all my wing windows for the car and chop down the one piece of good windshield glass that I got. Pull the tape off the back just so it doesn't permanently stick. I've uh, cardboard up these back windows. The two back ones are pretty cherry. So whatever, they go in, they'll open. So I just made some simple cardboard templates. Then I'm just gonna transfer to some glass, see if I got some glass lying around. So I got that one. I've got the front wing. So this one. There. Have that one a little too tight. Anyways. Pretty simple templates. I gotta do the same yet for these back windows. The front ones, like I say, they look like they'll work. There's a slight bit of gap up on top, but it'll be fine. So now, the two back ones work out. They're exactly the same, and the front ones, there's just a slight difference in the height, a slight bit, so. That's cool. I found this one pane of glass, so I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of it. It's questionable. I think I'll be able to do both of the rears for sure. See, I could get one front and one... I'll just do the rears. If I got to get the fronts cut, it's not a big deal. I don't think I have any other way to do this. Here's what it is. Work with what you got. So, yeah, I'll trim up some of these and see what I can get. See if I have some more glass here that I can do all of my vent windows. That'd be kind of cool. Then I just got to do my front glass and uh, one side of it anyways. And then the, uh, the back windows. And they should be golden. So, I've been doing some experimenting. Well, I cut one of my wing windows here. This was my template. I cut it on the glass. This is my wing window. Uh, so this is the glass people are cutting on a belt sander. This is the laminate. It's actually got like glue in the middle of it. I don't know if you can see. The other stuff I was trying to sand, like this side glass here, is the explodey type. Uh, it's called safety glass. So when you hit it with a rock, it shatters in small pieces. This is the one with glue in the middle of it. So there's two pieces of glass. This you can sand on the belt sander. So you can see my outline roughly, maybe. See, I was just shaving that down and I was doing that on the belt sander. This is where they say you do it vertical, you do that. I do a lot of that in the normally like when I cut it. This one I had to trim a little bit. So I uh, did it on the belt sander just because I needed to get it down a little bit where the black was. But yeah, now it fits nicely in there. So. What I normally do, come on, when I put these in, is I'll just put some electrical tape around the edge of it, and then it presses in tight, and then whatever. Like how often I'm going to open the back window is probably slim to never, but it does open. But uh, yeah, I'll put some tape on it, I'll fit it, and then, yeah, like it's just done. No big deal. Might have to shave a little off the back here yet. It's a little bit tight. I don't think she'll fully close. Yeah. So I gotta shave a hair off of this back. I'll probably just cut and score and cut it though, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward. So for this, I got my line, and all you gotta do is scrub right across. Do the one side. Trace exactly, I'm just using a regular glass cutter. Trace right across, same spot. Use your glass cutter. Like, I'm being really sloppy right now because I don't care. Normally I'll use these pliers to break it, but I don't know why. I don't seem to care. When I don't care, It seems to just work. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> Got a little crack. Got a little tracer going on there. 
So this is probably a fail, but whatever. I'll still use it. Usually just gotta get her started. Sometimes you can just see the trace going, yep. Eh, not always. It's not always a clean, nice break. Uh, here's where normally you'd use a torch. I don't know. I'm being a little careless on this one. But just run a knife through there. Gotta cut that rubber in there or the plastic. You know, should be wearing gloves, but be extra careful here. So pretty much covers that. And now I'll just run it through the sander. That'll clean up that edge. Mm, I think we got it. There's just a hair bit of a trace of the crack down there. I don't know if you can see it, but whatever. It's fine. It'll be fine. So right now I'm just going to clean up around the edge on it. Just this edge. So we got a little split on the back side. Let's see if you can see it there. Little split in there. Oh well, not a big deal. It's just a back glass. I'm not going to cry over it. Let's see if you can see. Get a better shot of it somewhere. I don't know, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's going to end down on the bottom, so that's fine. There. Yeah, you can see it. See that? Oh well. Those things happen. You're cutting glass. Got to expect it. Cost me nothing because it's a piece of scrap glass and uh, I'm still going to use it, so I'm okay with it. Now I just got to cut this other one out. It's a mirror of this one and hopefully I don't make as much of a mess out of it. So here's where I'm just going to run a bit of electrical tape around this. just so it fits in the channel nice. Uh, usually two or three rounds of it does it. There's the rubber but I don't have any of the proper rubber stuff and you could glue it in but this works fine for me and for what this window is going to be. Let's see if this is too much or not. And then on this bit, now we can, I think I hit just the magic number. I could have went a little tighter and it'll be fine. There you go. This glass had a few flaws in it. It's got that little crack that I showed you. It's in that bottom corner. And there's a scratch in the glass. Uh, can't see it, but whatever. It's a back window. That's fine. It'll be fine. It's in the car. I'm happy with it. One down. Whole bunch to go. Okay do the other corner window except this one there's a lot of curve in there and just like I say again I'm just using a regular glass cutter so I'm just gonna make a rough cut to get me started here just get rid of some excess glass here let's do one score and then you just trace that square work Give her the old tap because we don't care. If I really cared, then for some reason this won't work. There we go. You 
can tell when you get it cut because it actually gets all foldy. You can start bendy bendy it. It's easier to hit it with the torch though. Really softens her up. easily get the razor blade in there. Just like that. So now we'll do these ones with smaller cuts. Thing you gotta watch. You can't get too greedy with your your bends because it wants to break in the weirdest places. So Another one. I'll do this one in a smaller radius. Bendy, bendy, bendy. Extra bendy. This one we should be able to just do with simple little trace. Then I'll use my these are weird pliers. See how they they're the best for this. I don't know how to explain this, how gentle you have to be on it. Another piece of glass. This is actually the one out of that blue truck. This was the back window. So I saved it. So there's enough meat on there. Let's see though, how foggy is it? Oh, a little bit. Ah. Should I use that? Eh, it won't be too bad. Yeah, let's go for it. This should work. 
It'll only be foggy in some little spots. I can deal with that. Totally didn't work the way I wanted. We had a big old bust up there, but we'll stick with it. See how it goes. Okay, well, here's my window. We have, where did it go? Oh, there's a small crack, kind of on the one side of the glass at the bottom, and there's one at the top. You can barely see that one, well, when it's in the car. I haven't put that, what I call the welting, but the tape around the edge. But, regardless, when it's in the car, it's fine. Like I say, there's a little you can barely see it there. I'm going to use it because it costs nothing, and I don't care. It'll work fine. If that doesn't break now, it would probably break later on me anyways, so. And, well, it's just a driver, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm cool with that. So, now what? I guess I'll try to cut the other one and not break it. Save this piece. Yeah. You can't tell where the crack was. It's gone now. Because I had to slice the wind like I it was too fat, so I had to take some away, but looks like we saved her. So that's a good one. So ooh. I couldn't film much else with that because my other camera died. So this one here on the windshield, we got a rough idea. I made a mark roughly where I got to cut it. I don't know if you can see. I made the first line, but I didn't like it. So I'm going to go with the second line. Well, I'll start with the first line. There's two lines there. I'm going to cut on the first line and then see how the rubber fits. If the glass fits good in there, then I have a template for the other side to get cut. Because this is that green tint stuff so I'll just get the glass shop to cut me one piece if I don't screw this one up and uh, yeah see how this goes Got it cut and I'm just fitting it to the rubber. You can see it's still a little big, so I'm gonna have to come down a little bit, probably to my second mark that I made. It's probably closer. If not, I gotta go just a hair bit more, but because it's gotta scooch over a bit, but I can't get in there until I get this stuff out of the way. So uh yeah, I'll trim that down a bit, see how it fits.
All right, so we got our one template made up here. Um, this side glass should be fine. That's a mirror of it, so it should be fine. You just have to put that back in, but I gotta wait till I get that piece of glass done, then I can do them both at once. I've done the cardboard template for this glass. So I gotta get two of these and one windshield cut. So I'll bring these into the glass shop tomorrow. I'll have to pull the window channel out of, or the, the what do you wanna call it? Whatever, to hold the glass, that little U channel. Uh, pull that out of the donor tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully in a day or two, I got all the glass in the car. And we can uh, start doing some body work. The car that keeps on giving. The well, door glass and the windshield didn't come in today, but just puzzling out the pieces for my chrome. Looks like it'll work okay. While I'm waiting for that, I guess I'll get this ready to start doing some body work to it. I got a hammer and dolly that stuff out. I'll probably take the planishing hammer, fix up this crown in the roof here yet, but uh, yeah. I'm guessing for now, that's where I'll leave this one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.